Cyberpunk 2077 has brought a lot of eyes to cloud gaming. I've noticed a huge difference in the amount of views, comments, and attention cloud gaming has been getting since this game came out. And it's not really a surprise, NVIDIA really marketed this game around RTX, GeForce Now, uh, playing in the cloud on your low power devices and portably, all that kind of stuff. And this kind of futuristic Johnny Mnemonic uh, feel type game, Blade Runner, um, really it makes sense that uh, for a newer technology like cloud gaming, this would be the game to kind of bring eyes over and take a look at it. I've gotten a ton of comments the past few days since launch from people trying to play the PS4 version or the Xbox One version that have stumbled across these videos, signed up for GeForce Now or Stadia, and are completely blown away. Can't believe how great these services work, and they don't have to worry about spending four or $500 on a console right now or building a gaming PC. For the moment, cloud gaming is doing it for them, and they're able to play the newest game looking fantastic and have a great experience with it so I wanted to bring this video out and showcase the shield TV pro and what you can really do for all of your cloud gaming services on here not only that of course you can stream all of your movies TV shows all of those services that you want on here this is a fantastic uh, media streaming box I got it this year to start testing the cloud gaming on my 4k TV and I just absolutely wound up falling in love with it and I played a ton of cyberpunk on here on my 4k TV with the AI upscaling and everything they do similar to their DLSS technology that just works so good on this box it even makes horrible 720p x cloud look pretty good uh, i have videos on all of this stuff so this isn't a gameplay video i'm not really going to go around and do a bunch of gaming on all these services it would take too long i'm just showing you um, that you can run all these services on here we'll open up cyberpunk for the heck of it and just kind of talk about how you're able to play all these services on here i have a lot of videos already of gameplay i have videos i've had to set up every single one of these services on here on the channel um so you can definitely go find those and if i can remember i'll throw uh links in the description below for you so you can kind of go find them as well uh but definitely if you have any questions let me know how to sideload things like stadia or game pass uh there's videos for that on the channel and i'll be uh happy to guide you there and uh and get you the help you need but let's start with nvidia games geforce now because i'm still there i guess there's a lot of people that don't really still know what the shield tv pro does the cloud gaming and all of that so i've gotten a lot of questions uh how do you play geforce now on the shield tv pro that one's super easy it comes baked into the device when you get it uh, which is awesome geforce now nvidia games it's already here all you have to do is sign into your existing account or sign up and get signed in and instantly start adding the games to your library that are supported from your pc purchases like from steam gog epic ubisoft and your your games will be right in here for you you got to search for them and add them manually you can sync your steam account though and have them added automatically um, and your entire uh, geforce now library uh, that you have added will be right in here for you to uh, launch any of your games and play. So it's really, really easy uh, to handle GeForce Now on the Shield TV Pro. It's all baked in. AI upscaling for 4K works beautifully. You have all of the same games that you can access across the platform and a lot of settings that you can get into to modify for your internet connection, what kind of quality uh, you'll be looking for there. So GeForce Now is a really easy one on Shield TV Pro. Uh, comes ready to go. All right, so we can just go ahead and open up Stadia. This is the newest APK available as of uh, making this video on December 13th. And we'll see, we'll get loaded in here. Now, this isn't officially supported. That will come soon, I'm sure, because of Android. But you can sideload this onto your uh, Shield TV Pro, and it works fantastic. You're not going to get HDR, but you do get 4K. And you can see I have Cyberpunk loaded up right here because... Um, Stadia gives you like a 15 minute window to get back into your game. So I left that suspended. I started the video and here we go. Started right back up here on Stadia on the Shield TV Pro. And tell me that doesn't look sweet. I mean, it looks really good. And honestly, um, I've given Stadia its issues. Yeah, Cyberpunk still, do, you know, it's running more console version. It still doesn't do what GeForce Now does with PC settings, but... The game looks good and it runs really good. Um, I hope that whether you have it on Stadia, GeForce Now, PC or console, that you're really enjoying this game, even though it does have a ton of issues. So Cyberpunk on Stadia, on the Shield TV, fantastic experience, as is GeForce Now. So let's go back home. And here's Shadow. Now, I'm not going to log in here and get this going, uh, but this works great. I have videos for this as well. You take your Shadow account, log in right here. 
It'll pick up your resolution. You can stream 1440p, 1080, 4K, whatever you want. Um, I stream at lower resolution for an uh, easier stream. It's easier on the system. I get a more consistent frame rate. And then I use the AI upscaling here to go ahead and take it up to the 4K. So I stream it like 1080 or 1440, and then I let uh, the Shield TV go ahead and upscale that. Fantastic experience for, sh for Shadow, and if you're interested in seeing that, I have videos on that. Uh, again, I'll try to link these in the description if I remember so that you guys can go check those out. Uh, that's why I don't want to go into all of them here. I've already done videos showcasing all of this, but for everyone new coming to cloud gaming, which there's a lot of you, uh, eyes on cloud gaming with Cyberpunk right now, I just wanted to show you the best device though more pricey at $200 US I realize but it's still a lot less than a new console and if you want to be able to play all of these services right on your TV or gaming monitor honestly this is the best way to go it's going to give you the best experience and still a great price Moonlight you can use to connect to any of your other cloud PCs or your local PC. For me, this is my two maximum settings cloud PCs. If I had those booted up, I'd be able to click right on those and do the same thing. Same here. I'll stream this at 1080 or 1440 and let the AI upscaling do the 4K, and it just makes everything a little bit easier a little bit nicer. Retro Arc is where I do all my retro gaming. Uh, it runs fantastic on Shield TV Pro. If you're ever interested in seeing a Retro Arc video for this, let me know and we will. We'll get into that and we'll check that out, but it's fantastic. It runs on here really, really well. I just use a USB stick uh, for all of my ROMs and stuff like that. So uh, Game Pass. Now, in the video showing you how to install Game Pass, sideload it and use it, I explain you can't add it to your favorites out here. Now, there's an app you can get on Android to put custom uh, stuff out there. I don't have that on here right now. Uh, so what you have to do is go into apps and go into your see all apps. And then your Game Pass will be right in here after you sideload it and good to go. So I'll go ahead and open that up here. All right, so we get our Game Pass loaded up here. And you can see right there we've got cloud, console, and PC. So you're able to go in here and just stream your games right from the cloud for your Game Pass streaming. Now, this is the one I've had the least amount of luck with. I have been able to play uh, Ori and Gears and uh, Batman and stuff on my TV with the upscaling and everything. And it, and it works nice some of the time, but I have had some connection issues. I'm looking forward to some updates. I much prefer to use the game streaming direct from my Series X um, and actually use it as the cloud streamer to my phone or to whatever device I want to. But as far as xCloud goes, Game Pass streaming, you can run it on your Shield TV Pro, uh, but performance has been very hit or miss for me. And uh, hopefully as we get more official support and as they up update those blades later next year, we'll get a much better, smoother experience across the board. But you're able to run it here and you're able to do your Game Pass streaming on Shield TV Pro. So you can pretty much run all of the mainstream, all of the, the major cloud gaming right now. PS Now is not on here right now, and I haven't had much luck trying to do anything side with that. Um, so I've left that one out. But as far as the big ones like GeForce Now, Stadia, Shadow, Maximum Settings, some fun with RetroArch, running your game streaming from Xbox a little bit. Uh, it's a very versatile machine. It works really, really well. You can play all of your cloud gaming from here. Um, like I said, I know it's one of the little bit more expensive boxes, but to me, it's just, it's absolutely, absolutely the way to go. And I think you could just about replace your console gaming uh, with something like this. You could definitely spend about $300 less on something like this and play next generation games like Cyberpunk on GeForce Now. So, and if you're interested in seeing how Cyberpunk is running on here, there's videos very recently on the channel uh, showing Cyberpunk running on a PC through GeForce Now and also uh, a 4K comparison for uh, GeForce Now and Stadia. So go check those out if that's something that interests you. I hope this video helped you out. NVIDIA's Shield TV Pro is definitely worth it. It's cloud gaming just for everything. It does a fantastic job. Plus watch all of your movies and other content as well. Uh, definitely the box that does it all and it does it really well. AI upscaling is really kind of an, a game changer. DLSS does a fantastic job on PC. This AI upscaling does a wonderful job on here, making a lot of this content that would be blurry and unplayable a wonderful experience. So I hope this video helps you out a little bit. I really appreciate you coming to check it out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a thumbs up. Bring that notification bell. Leave me your comments down below. All that kind of stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks again for coming to check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.